and welcome back to my channel today I will be sharing a recipe for garlic butter green beans this will be perfect for your holiday tables and to get started here I have some green beans I already washed and you know I cut the ends off and I have here some better than bouillon I have chicken broth some black pepper all-purpose seasoning finely grated garlic and some butter in a preheated pot, you wanna add some butter, allow it to melt. Once the butter melts, we'll go in with that garlic and we'll let the garlic go for about a minute or two. Next, we'll add our green beans, then we'll add the seasonings here. We'll give it a good toss and we'll let it go for about two to three minutes. So at this point, we'll now add our chicken broth. But before we do that, we'll add some better than bouillon to the chicken broth. As you know, chicken broth that sells in the box, it's not that concentrated. So the better than bouillon makes it a bit more concentrated and it takes it to another level. When I tell you this green beans recipe is so good, you will enjoy it. Now, I like my green beans kind of in the middle, like a little bit of crunch, but I still like it nice and tender. And this recipe gives me the perfect texture. Now, if you like your green beans that way as well, you will enjoy this. Once we add the chicken broth, we'll cover this and let it simmer on medium to low heat until all the liquid evaporates. Then I'll show you guys the next step. So five minutes in, this is how we are looking, but it's not quite there yet. So we'll cover and allow it to simmer until it is completely done. So after about 15 minutes, these are finally done. Now we'll add some more butter, mix it in, and we will turn the heat off. The butter will melt on its own. We don't want the butter to cook. We just want it to melt. So we'll turn the heat off and we will get ready to serve. This will be perfect for your holiday tables and I hope you guys give the recipe a try. And here you have it guys, the perfect garlic butter green beans. It is full of flavor and just the right texture and so, so delicious. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. And if you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.